from 2013, female naval officers will be able to serve aboard submarines and ratings two years later. Women weren't initially allowed on them over fears carbon dioxide would affect their health, but now those concerns have proved to be unfounded. Julie Knox has more. The Defence Secretary cites this step as proof the Royal Navy is at the forefront of innovation. But ten years ago, BFBS shadowed a Swedish girl submariner. Her government permitted women below the surface in the early 90s, and Norway was the first to lift its ban back in 1985. The cost of converting facilities on board has been considered prohibitive. But that wasn't an issue for the open-minded Swedes. Maria didn't use separate heads, she slept with the torpedoes, and wore unisex rig right down to the boxer shorts. Sex scandals remain a major fear. A sub may be just as operationally effective with women in it, but might living together in such close confines tempt the crew to break the senior service's no-touching rule. Of course, relationships have developed between surface fleet shipmates, but it wouldn't be so easy to separate offending couples in a submarine until it came up from its three-month patrol. I've no doubt that there will be some people who don't like the decision, uh, and we will need to explain to them why we're doing it and we need to explain what control measures uh, we're taking uh, to make sure that this is as, a sex, as successful an introduction of women into the front line. So in late 2013, female officers will join the Vanguard class, which can be converted to give them their own bunks and showers. Female ratings will have to wait another two years to earn their dolphin's wings. As for the new astute class, they won't be modified to accommodate girls until 2016. Volunteers are already lining up. We've been in the Navy now for 21 years and I've never found a problem with it. I don't think it will be a problem. And also, it's going to be over a number of years, so they've got time to get used to it. The move will mean women can earn the extra pay the unique operating environment pulls in as they finally reach new depths in their careers. Julie Knox, Forces News.